Good morning, children. Welcome to Sunday School Bible Story from Home. As we all seek to flatten the curve during the COVID-19 pandemic, and our city and country have placed restrictions on our gathering, we want to provide you with weekly resources for participating in Sunday School from Home. We are currently living through some extraordinary time where all of us are experiencing significant changes to our everyday lives. But even in the face of such extraordinary times, we can make a conscious choice to make the most of this situation, especially for those of us privileged enough to safely stay indoors at a place we can call home. Take advantage of this time to join us in this wonderful Sunday morning by reading Bible scripture with us. Now, before we go to the Bible scripture, shall we pray the Lord first to the, our Lord? Okay, now, children, close your eyes, hands together. Now, shall we pray together? <clears throat> Dear Lord, Thank you for today. Thank you for the way in which you provide for all of us. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our heart and mind now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and read. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, thank you children. Now, before we continue our reading scriptures, shall we recite the Lord's Prayer? Now, we can do this together, shall we? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now, children, shall we prepare the Bible books? Because for this third week, the Bible story, the scripture reading, okay, uh, taken from the Genesis chapter 7, verse 1 to 24. Shall we open the Bible books? Okay, let's read together. Shall we? Now, children, let's read together. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate and the two of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven of every kind of birds, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood water came on the earth. And Noah and his son and his wife and his son's wife entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground, male and female, 
came to Noah and entered the ark, as God has commanded Noah. And after the seven days, the, war, the flood water came on the earth. In the six hundred years of Noah's life, on the seventh day of the second month, on that day, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of heaven were opened, and rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. On that every day, Noah and his son Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and the wife of his three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kind. Kinds, every creature that moved along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind. Everything with wings, pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every living things, as God had, had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the water increased, they lift the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark Float, float on the surface of the water. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under entire heavens were covered. The water rose and covered the mountain to the depth of more than 20 feet. Every living thing that move on the earth perish birds livestock wild animals all the creature that swarm over the earth and all mankind everything on the dry land that had the breath of life in its nostril die every living things on the face of the earth was wiped out Men and animals and the creature that move along the ground and the birds of the air were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left and those with him in the ark. The water flooded the earth for 150 days. Okay, now this is a from the scripture, Bible scripture, Genesis chapter 7, verse 1 to 24. Uh, personally, uh, what I felt when I read the this chapter, right, is like uh, right us right now, that we are staying at home to be safe, to flatten the curve, and I felt that we are like Noah, he's in the ark. Imagine you're in the indoor house and Noah is the indoor ark. We are doing things, you know, repeatedly. Like Noah, for example, he's like, he has to feed the animals, he has to clean, and uh, they have to cook, they have to eat, they send the bird out, okay? To see whether you know everything is okay or not outside and it's the same thing for what i felt like we are doing the same thing we stockpiling up we make sure that our things are ready you know make sure that everything's are there and we want to you know help out to flatten the curves so 
for this 2021, the resolution for this pandemic will be uh, similar to be an opportunity, you know, to worship God and to give thanks to our renewed relationship to Him, like Noah. So we are like, same thing. That's how I felt. Now, we are going to be changed. And that is a good thing to be say. As we find ourselves shut up in the metaphorical arc, swept by the flood waters, we cannot control or predict. We realize now more than ever that we are not script our own destinies. See, we may look to God as uh, water rise for guidance, strength, and evidence of how He changing us in this pandemic, for how He is uh, reorienting us to keep our eyes on Him. Now, this is what I personally felt uh, for this uh, when I read the scripture of the Bible. So this is my personally sharing to all of you. Okay, before we done, we, I would like to close the prayer, shall we? Now, children, let's close our eyes, hands together. Now, shall we read this together? If you can, our Heavenly Father, we are humble this day to be here through your mercies. We are honor you because of your tender care. We are so much privileged to have this Sunday school class from home. Let this class help us to know you more. We like to thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We pray. Amen. Okay, children, thank you for having me here to read the Bible's scripture. Such a wonderful scripture. And thank you so much again. And please stay safe, be safe. Alright. Take care. Bye, everyone.